Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, our dear viewers yes, of Aral Media. In case this is your first time on this channel, please consider subscribing, hit on that notification bell so that whenever we post anything, you'll be notified. Today we are privileged that we have got a visitor, we have got a visitor this morning. Um, you're welcome. He also, he's also a YouTuber. He has his channel called Morgurum Tada. You can go and check on him and subscribe to his channel. And I will put the, the link down in the description so that you can go direct to his channel and subscribe to him. He has amazing videos. This is, if you're watching this from my channel, please go and subscribe to his channel. It's Morgurum Tada. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum as salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I am Murguru. Yes. How are you? How are you doing? How is life? And how is everything here in UK? I'm good. I'm good. I'm thank God. I'm good. And the uh, UK is very nice, as you see. MashaAllah. Um, when did you come to UK? Mm. UK, I come here, I think, uh, if I remember, 2008, I come in UK. Uh, yeah, I come. 2008. Yeah, 2008. Yes, I can use Swahili. Yeah, it came 2008, that is around, um, oh, around 18, 18 years? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, around 12 years now. And now oh, 12 years. Oh, yeah. 14 years. Unafanya kazi gani wa? Eh, kwa, kwa hapa UK, mi minafanya tu kazi ya kawaida ambao nilikuja kama mcheza show, nilikuja kama mcheza show. Uh, nikikumbuka nilikuja kama mcheza show wa acrobatic, zamani nikiwa na nata. Oh. Juu ya ulingo kabisa juu. Kumbuka nikuja kama mcheza show. Mm. Eh, na... Miaka hiyo nilipokuja kama mchezaji show nikapiga show nadhani nikapiga show kama mara ya kwanza nikarudi nikakaa mwaka mmoja contract yangu kwa ya mwaka kisha nikaja tena mwaka mwingine nilipofika mwaka wa tatu ndo nikaja nikapata nafasi ya kutulia kabisa huko now you only part a citizenship right now you are a citizen of UK yeah 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 i'm citizen now nimepata uraia hapa UK ni raia wa hapa mbio back home so you you have two citizens you can go back home mm. you also citizen back home and uh, you can yeah 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 I can go back home and uh, if I come here come on over up and a citizen deal how often do you uh, go back home how often uh, do you go back home no lisa mda gani unaenda home nyumbani uh, Ah uh, muda wangu sana ambao eh, naweza nikasema nikikaa hapa sana sana wanakaa mwaka kupitiliza. Wanakaa mwaka kisha naamua naenda zangu vacation kuwasalimia kama wazazi na baadhi ya familia. Kwa hiyo sana sana ukaa mwaka mimi ndo nikaenda nyumbani. Sana hujichanga kufanya kazi na nini kama tunavyojua kisha baada ya mwaka uenda zangu vacation kupumzika. How do you manage around? Do you have your wife here or your wife is back home? Uh, how do you manage with, with, with that situation? Uh, maisha hapa, naweza nika sema ni raisi na pia maisha hapa so raisi. Mm, kivipi, maisha hapa ni kazi, 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 kazi na wewe. Kila, kila siku unakunda mbio. Kila siku kazi, kazi, kazi. Mda wakupumzika ni mchache sana kwa nchino. Lakini hapa ni kazi kuna bele, tunangalia jinsi ya, jinsi gani kama unavujua wa Afrika, wanangalia jinsi gani, watakomua maisha, watajikomua kimaisha, vipi, watapata pesa. Kwa nchino ni ya ku, imechangamuka sana, tafauti na nchi nyingine ambazo watu wana, wana zi, tunaziona, tafauti na nchi nyingine ambazo tunaziona. Nchino imechangamuka sana, nchino ya watu unapambana sana, kila mtu wanajituma kupata pesa. Tumetoka mbali, tumetoka nchi zetu hizo kwa ajili ya pesa. Kwa nchino na kuwa bize sana kwa ajili ya kuzitafuta shilingi. Kwa hivyo tunakuwa busy sana. Na, te, na tena naona mambo ya raha hapa ni mengi sana. Um, how do you manage to balance the work with the with the with this life this kind of life? Hii raha nyingi hapa. Mm. How do you manage? 
kwa nchi hino raha ni nyingi ndiyo yani kila mambo yamewekwa wazi yani kila mambo yapo free kutokana na nafasi wako na uwezo wako na wakati wako kila jambo lipo free yani ni nchi ambayo kwanza ni nchi ambayo kwanza kwa ina nafasi kubwa ya mtu kuwa free ni nchi ambayo iko free kwa kila mtu na ni nchi ambayo haibagui mtu yote UK ni nchi ambayo haimbagui mtu yote awe mweusi awe mweupe awe nchi kutoka nchi gani awe nani ukishakuwa ni raia wa hapa wewe basi umeshakuwa raia na maisha unayaona kama ya kawaida kwa kifupi raha zote ambazo unazisikia zipo hapa kama pombe zipo kama maisha mazuri yapo kama kwenda beach mambo yote yapo hapa now the other thing is uh, uh, do you have your wife here you, you, you left your wife back home or you got another wife uh, a white, a white girl um, how do you uh, how is it Uh, ndio mke wangu ni naye hapa nimekuja na mke wangu miaka mingi nilipofuata citizenship sikuwarakia kuoa mzungu sikuwarakia kuoa mwanamke mweupe hapana kutokana na nilikuwa nimeshamwacha mwanamke ambaye nilikuwa mwanamke wa maisha yangu nimezaa naye e, nimekuwa naye kwa miaka mingi nikaamua huyu mwanamke wangu huyu ndo nitakayekwenda kumchukua nije niishi naye kwa hiyo nilibahatika kufanya mambo hayo na nilimchukua mke wangu nikaja naye ndo naishi naye hapa sasa hivi ni mke wangu kutoka Afrika. Uh, wanatuambia mm. uh, a, a, wana, wanawake weupe we wanapenda sana weusi. How true is that? Like uh, uh, these white ladies, love, mm. uh, black black guys. Is it true? Have you ever uh, have you ever noticed it? Uh, no, siezi si, 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 nikasema ni hivyo. I cannot say like that, but Naweza nikasema kwamba kila mwanamke anaweza kumpenda mtu yote mm. ya kutokana na hisia zake mwenyewe lakini kutokana na labda pia uchache wa wazungu wenyewe kwa nchi hino huenda watu weusi wakiingia kwa nilivyosoma mimi huenda watu weusi wanapoingia labda kutokana tumekuja hapa ni wageni huenda labda anaweza kutupenda kwa njia moja au nyingine lakini siwezi nikasema kwamba wanatupenda sana kwa sababu kwanza pia wao ukiwaangalia wana bwana zao wameolewa na watu weupe na pia wana na wengine wenye hawaolewi kuna 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 video moja nilikuwa naangalia na na, na youtuber moja anaitwa Coco Girl alikuwa na ojeo na, na mtu mwingine akamuuliza um, so uh, he asked her if someone approaches if a black guy approaches you asking for love will you love him na Coco Girl akamjiba akamwambia akamwambia sisi wa sisi wanawake weupe in our life we really we feel it. We ha, we, at least once in a while you have a black guy as your boyfriend mm. every white girl loves that and now for you you live here with them mm. you live in the UK with them you know everything you have met them everywhere in the mm. malls bars whatever everywhere mm. i know i think that and, and the, the way how this country is and believe was open to everyone mm. maybe they can even have a chance even to approach you themselves what you, you have that experience Do you agree with what she said no naweza ningesema hapana unajua kwa nini mwanamke ni mwanamke japokuwa watu wanavyosema kwamba watu wanavyosema lakini mimi sijapata kuishuhudia nafasi yangu ya kupendwa na mwanamke mweupe sijawahi kupata labda kwa kama ningetaka labda ningejituma na ningefanya bidii nikamtafuta mwanamke mweupe at least ningepata experience ya kumtafuta mwanamke mweupe lakini mimi sijakuwa kuzamia katika mambo hayo sana nilizamia kwamba na mke wangu nikaamua kwamba nitadili na mke wangu kumleta katika maeneo haya tufanye maisha tuishi hapa pamoja na kama kawaida kwa hiyo sijapenda sana kum Sijaezamia sana katika harakati ya kusema nitamtongoza mwanamke mweupe hasa kiundani. Sijaezamia kwenye hilo lakini kwa ninavyosikia na kwa ninavyoona na nilivyowasoma watu weupe au wazungu au tunavyoita kule kwetu wazungu au wanawake weupe kwa kifupi. Ni wanawake ambao hawana kibri. Ni wanawake ambao hawana kibri na wanatupenda kwa njia ya kwamba hawana kibri. Unajua mtu yote ambaye hana kibri na wewe ni mtu ambaye unaweza ukaisi kabisa huyu ananipenda sio tofauti na wanawake wengine ambao kule kwetu Afrika sio wanawake wenye hela na sio wanawake wazuri lakini baadhi yao wanakuwa wana dharau ndani yake hii dharau moja wapo ni ya kwamba hawapendi mtu mweusi na japokuwa wao ni weusi wapo wanawake wasitelie kule kwetu Afrika la kwa ninavyosema mimi 
wanawake upe wapo kama vile vile lakini wanawake upe wanakuwa wanajali sana habari za kwa ya kumheshimu mwanamume kwa wanaanza akawa unamwongelesha tu mwanamke mupe lakini kutokana na heshima walizonazo na utukufu wao wa kuheshimu watu huenda ukaisi kwa maana wapenda watu weusi kwa sababu ni watu ndio wananyenyekea kwa watu weusi na ni kweli wanatubembeleza sana kwa hiyo kama utamu approach mtu mweusi mtu mweupe kama utamu approach kwamba unamtongoza yani kama unamtongoza mwanamke mweupe lazima asilimia hamsini unaweza kumpata kwa sababu gani ni wanyenyekevu ni watu ambao wanaheshima na wanapenda sana watu weusi naweza nikasema kwa sababu ni watu ambao nilivyo wasoma ni wanyenyekevu wanaheshima zao kwa, kwa sisi watu weusi wanaume tunaweza tukaisi wanatupenda oh yeah mm. Mm. now ndio wewe uko muislamu na hii UK sio nchi ya Kiislamu mnaishi je hapa kama nyi uislamu kuna uislamu wengi hapa ama uh, UK na waislamu waislamu wapo na waislamu wanafanya vizuri kila mtu unajua na dini yake japokuwa kwamba uislamu hujabobea hapa sana sio mwingi kupindukia lakini uislamu upo na dini ipo na mtu hajakatazwa kufanya mambo yake lakini dini ipo kama unavoniona mimi hapa nimevaa vazi zuri na vazi takatifu ni kwamba naonesha ishara ni wapi na hivi ndo ninavyovaa sana nikiwa katika ndani ya nyumba kwa sababu kazi zangu zinakuwa za kuvaa suruali na shati kwa hiyo siwezi kutembea nje na kanzu na kufia na nini hivi lakini kwa jinsi nilivyo mimi huwa sana sana nikiwa nyumbani napenda kulikumbuka vazi langu hili na kumwabudu Mwenyezi Mungu kama kawaida isala tunafanya misikiti ipo umeona eh kwa hiyo na hiyo kanzu hiyo kanzu unavaa juzi juzi um, during world cup i was in qatar mm. you would see people even going to offices like that even going out uh, we used to go to the stadiums you see these qataris mm. and the other arabs for them it is it is official they go uh, to work they go uh, hospital they go everywhere wearing that way mm. yeah. kwa kwa kwa, kwa nchi ya qatar naweza sema ni nchi ambazo ni nchi ambazo za dini ni nchi ambazo ni zaharabuni kwa kifupi ndio kwa kifupi nchi ya qatar vazi hili ni kama ni vazi lao kama vazi la kawaida kwa oh, wanalivaa kama kawai kama mavazi mengi kama shati na suruali tunavovaa sisi kule kwetu Afrika hapa Ulaya na wapi kwa kifupi sisi tunavaa mavazi ambayo ya shati na suruali kama ulivovaa arali media kama ulivovaa na ulivopendeza hivyo ndio mavazi wale wanavoyavaa katari wanavaa mavazi haya kama mavazi ya kawaida wanachukulia ni ma, mavazi matakatifu sana yani ni mavazi ambayo matukufu kwa upande wao lazima wayavaa mavazi haya kama ni mavazi ya kawaida kwa upande wao kwa nilivyo isoma nchi Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Oman, ukienda hapa Kuwait, mavazi yao mengi utayazingatia ni mavazi ya kanzu, unavaga kanzu sana kila wakati, kila wakati. Kwa ni mavazi yao ni kama mavazi ya kawaida kwa upande wao. Na uh, what plan uh, una plan gani ni kutembea uh, home Africa ama kutembea nchi zingine? Uh, actually nimetembea, nimeshatembea tayari. Baadhi ya nchi nimeshazitembea ikiwemo nchi iliyoitaja Qatar nimeitembea uh, nimeitembea Saudi Arabia mm. e, nimeenda nchi nyingi za Afrika nimetembea sana na hizo zote unaenda kufanya hiyo ile kazi yako hiyo hiyo ya acrobat ama unatembea tu hapana kazi yangu acrobat kilimishaacha muda unafanya kazi gani sasa hivi eh, kwa sasa kazi yangu siwezi nikaitaja <laughs> eh, nitaiweka kwenye mabano nitaiweka kwenye mabano arali media mm. Kwa sasa kazi yangu nitaiweka kwenye mabano lakini kadi siku zinavyoendelea mtakuja kuitambua kazi yangu na nini Mungu akijalia lakini kazi yangu kwa sasa siwezi kuiweka hadharani Sasa na kwa nini uliacha kazi ya acrobat ilikuwa hailipi vizuri ama Hapana mm. kazi ya acrobat ni kazi ambayo kwanza ni kazi nzuri sana mm. ni kazi ambayo kwamba ina faida nyingi sana na pia ndani yake ina afya njema ina mazoezi Unajua kazi yote ambayo unafanya mazoezi kwenye kazi yoyote lazima kazi hiyo ina faida. Sababu kwanza jambo la kwanza unafanya zoezi, unajipa nguvu katika mazoezi yale. Lakini kazi hiyo kwa nini nimeacha? Kazi hiyo nimeacha kwa sababu nilipata kazi nyingine nikaamua kwa hiyo. Unajua uweze kuacha kazi mpaka upanye nini? Upate kazi nyingine. Kwa nilipata kazi nyingine ambayo naona ina hela safi zaidi ya hiyo lakini sio kwa acrobatic ilipo. Inalipa zaidi lakini kutokana nilivona hela hiyo inanizidisha vizuri ya kufanya nitulie katika kazi hiyo basi nikazamia nikaachana na kazi hiyo na kaingia katika kazi hiyo hiyo tu ndio ilikuwa changamoto tutaenda lini Afrika una plan ya kwenda Afrika lini uh, Afrika nadhani naweza nikaenda mwezi kutokana na mwaka 2023 umeingia 
na kutokana na mipangilio yangu na kazi zangu zenyewe basi huenda Afrika nikaenda labda mwezi wa sita insha Allah yeah 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 any other thing you need to tell our people our viewers our subscribers mm. ambao naweza nikasema kwa watu wangu na nikawapatia mawaidha ambao wanatutazama sasa hivi hapa kwenye channel ya Arali Media nitakachokisema kitu kimoja watu wanatamani sana kuja nchi hii na kama ulivyofika wewe na nimeku invite vizuri umefika hapa kwa usalama kwa kifupi usivunjike moyo wala mtu asikuvunje moyo kwa kuambia kwamba mimi kuja huko ni nipe maela mengi labda ni nichaji pesa nyingi hapana nchi hiyo kufika ni kazi ndogo na kuhitaji mamilioni au maela mengi mabilioni hapana kazi hiyo ya kufika hapa ni kazi ambayo inatakiwa subira kwanza na kujipa moyo usikubali mtu akukashita akukatisha tamaa kama una talent yako pambana na talent yako kama una muda wako pambana na muda wako apply kazi kazi siku hizo watu na urais rally siku hizo kazi ni urais kupata nchi za ghaibuni ku apply kazi apply aje au unaingia tu kwa google una una una, una google una andika tu una, kazi zipo nyingi mbona kila siku na advertise kwa hiyo kwa kifupi ni kupoteza muda wako na kujiandaa na muda wako na subira nyingi kuingia katika Google na kusearch kazi zinakuwa nyingi advertisement za kazi zinakuwa nyingi. Sema uwe makini katika harakati za kutafuta kazi. Na mbali na hivyo cha muhimu ambacho naweza nikawasemea na nikawaambia kwamba mtu yote asikukatishe tamaa, maisha ni rahisi kama utafanya subira na utasubiri. Maisha ni rahisi sana 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 na nchino jipe moyo utaingia ikiwa na siku ukiwa kila siku unasema nitamake nitamake lazima utaingia nchini na utafanya kazi. Nchi zote zina baraka na zina nuru. Muhimu ni kutia bidii na kupambana sana. Na insha Allah tuta tutafikisha ujumbe huo. Everyone who gets that information gets disseminated so that people can also benefit from this information in Canada. Well, if you are there in Africa you need to come to UK you can as well use this platform just comment down in the comment section we shall help you get where you want to go otherwise i wish you the best uh, and mr Abdala, thank you very much for uh, coming thank you for hosting me also he's the one who hosted me he's the one who bought for me the ticket he's the one who actually paid for everything the hotel where i stay everything he is my sponsor and I think before I go back to Africa, I will again come back to do another video before I go back. I, otherwise, I wish you the best. In case this is your first time on the platform, please consider subscribing. Hit on that notification bell. See you in the next video. Wa alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Thank you, Arali Media. Welcome.